Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a drag marble inspired by Savetta Sanders, and this was requested by Pink Nut Billy. And I've started off with a Nail Ticks Formula 2 and Pill Ease, and I'm going to use a Stashed Luncheon as my base color. Just a nice white cream. And I'll be using the Stashed again, and then this OPI called My Signature is DC, and another OPI called let your love shine and I've got my little mat out and a piece of tape and a toothpick and my dotting tool so I'm putting out some drops of these polishes the silver the kind of maroony reddish color and the white um, so that I can drag marble them into the white which is going to be the base of this design um, I, I, I'm kind of at a loss. So here I go. I'm going to go in with a pretty thick coat of the luncheon, which is my white cream. You could use any white cream. Um, and then I'm going to use my dotting tool and I'm going to do two dots of silver, kind of catty cornered from each other. And I'm going to wipe my dotting tool off in between colors so I don't get them all mixed up and blended um, before I want to blend them. And then I'm going to do a dot of let your love shine inside the silver dots and then a dot of the white on each of them and then I'm going to go back in with another dot of let your love shine on top of that and I know this is going to be kind of hard to see I'm still working on camera angles and all of that good stuff but I'm just going to take this toothpick and starting from the center of the bullseye I'm going to kind of just twirl it out and around just kind of twirly twirly twirl just give it kind of like a sun a swirly sun look to it and mine does not look near as good as Savetta Sanders um, she's the queen of this kind of nail art for sure I've got several of them made and now I'm gonna go in with my um, yellow starfer from American Classics just kind of drop brushing that on there so that it's tacky and that the decal sticks to the nail really well um, I've just found that this is a step I'd rather not skip because it's just kind of foolproof it always helps whatever decal I'm trying to work with or stamping it just helps everything stick so I'm using like a um, cuticle pusher uh, little plastic tool from Sally's to kind of scrape that little image up and then peel it up and then carefully line it up and mush it down and you're going to want to go all the way around the nail making sure that it's adhered on the sides and the tip and all over you know just get it all smushed down really nice um, it, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to do that and it's definitely worth doing because then that way you don't have any you know real lifting or shifting while you're trying to trim the edges and I'm gonna go in with that same little plastic cuticle pusher from Sally's and just kind of cut break tear that um, excess so that I can pull it off and um, all the way around you know just these decals are still quite tacky they're not wet but they're still tacky and I didn't want to break out my little scissors because it would just would have stuck to the little scissors so today I'm gonna to do the you know, kind of pokey, peel it, prod it off of their method. <laughs> and, you know, you could go in, you don't even have to do this step. You could just go in with acetone and melt it and clean it up that way. But I have a love-hate relationship with white nail polish. It just makes me crazy to get it all around my skin, around my cuticles. It just looks chalky and I have issues with it. So I try to get as much of it as I can up before I go in with my acetone and my cleanup brush. And here I am with my favorite cleanup brush doing my little bit of cleanup. I'm going to be so sad when this brush dies because it is my favorite. Um, I, I, I just have no words for um, them discontinuing this brush. It just freaks me out. I'm hoping that the rumors are true and that they will be coming back with um, <laughs> these, these brushes again someday. But I'm just going around and I'm cleaning that up but I'm also kind of tapping the edge and sealing that um, decal down to the nail a little bit better you know that acetone just kind of helps melt it and as long as you're not rubbing too hard it just kind of touches it and 
makes it melt onto the nail better. And you know, so that's what I'm doing right there. And I do end up doing all of my nails with this design on this hand. Um, I'm only gonna show you the one today because this is already kind of a long video. Um, but as you can see, I've already done my thumb. And I like to go in up underneath, flip my nail over to where I can see it really well. And I try to get up some of that excess and not just melt it all underneath there. I like to get, you know, kind of swipe some of it out of there so that it's not as thick under the nail. It's one of those things. You always feel like you've got something stuck under your nail. So I like to do it that way. Tapping it with my finger to make sure it's even. And there we go. I'm going to top this design off with some posh top coat and seal it all in. Um, I would like to thank uh, Pink, Pink Nut Billy for asking me to do this one. I really did enjoy it and I loved the effect. I need to do drag marbles more often. And here we go, capping the end off frame. There we go, get back in frame, girl. But I really did like this one, and there's so many possibilities. You could do it with all kind of colors. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this design. I love to hear from you. Um, here comes my swatch photo, and here it is. So thanks for watching, as always. And until next time, be good to yourself. Bye.